Uh, today we will discuss Honda hybrid engine and motors vehicle and uh, we dismantle all the things here and uh, Honda integrated motor assistant system is a hybrid technology used in many other vehicles it's combined traditional internal combustion ICE with electrical motor the electric motor assists the gasoline engine during acceleration improving fuel efficiency and providing extra power when needed the IMA system allow for seamless switching between electric and gasoline power optimizing performance based on driving condition battery types used in Honda hybrid Honda employs different types of batteries in their hybrid vehicle depending on the model and generations two common types included nickel metal hybrid and lithium ion battery okay first of all we will discuss uh, nickel metal hybrid hydrate this type battery has been widely used in earlier honda hybrid models like civic hybrid and inside nickel metal hydride are the batteries for their reliability durability and making them suitable for hybrid application the second one is lithium ion battery more recent hybrid vehicles such as Accord Hybrid, CRV Hybrid utilize lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion batteries offers higher energy density, which means they can store more energy in a smaller and lighter package compared to nickel metal hydride batteries. This contributes to improve fuel efficiency and performance. And the third one is regenerative braking system. Honda hybrids are equipped with the regenerative braking system. By the way, all hybrid systems or EV vehicles has this kind of features. Uh, regenerative, so we can regenerate the power while braking or deacceleration. So kinetic energy during the braking or costing when the driver applies brakes the electric motor switches into the generator mode converting kinetic energy for the vehicle into electrical energy this energy is then stored in the hybrid battery for later use regenerative braking helps to recharge the battery and improve overall fuel efficiency by reducing the reliance on the gasoline engine to generate electricity these components work together harmoniously in Honda hybrid to maximize fuel efficiency, reduce emission and provide a smooth driving experience that combine the benefits of both electric and gasoline power sources. Electric motor operates efficiently, effectively in all driving scenario and conditions because we can see the road are not uh, uh, constant. Uh, it is uh, varies from uh, low to high, high to low with different patterns and scenarios. The benefits of MG1 and MG2 in which we have used two motors, uh, fuel efficiency by utilizing electric power for propulsion or regenerations. The hybrid system significantly improve fuel efficiency, reducing the need of ICE to operate under less efficient condition, reduce emissions. The ability to operate EV mode to assist, uh, to assist the ECE leads to lower overall emission contribution to reduce environmental footprint. Enhance performance. The instinct torque provided by MG2 enhance acceleration and overall driving performance, offering a more engaging driving experience compared to the conventional ICE or I can say internal combustion engine only vehicles. Now, if we are talking about the technical uh, information about MG1 and MG2, so MG1, if I am talking about first MG1, the function act, act as a primary as a generator and a starter. Remember always, even in Toyota vehicles also, uh, the MG1 is, is used as a generator and as a starter, as a starter. And the output, power output approximately 20 to 30 kilowatt varies between model to model but if i am talking about this vehicle the honda civic it is 20 to 30 kilowatt 
and the torque the torque uh, this motor can generate it is 50 to 60 newton meter varies by the model year and specific hybrid system design also but if i'm talking about uh, the honda civic it is almost uh, 50 to 60 newton meter the voltage the typic that typically operate with the high voltage range which is 200 to 300 volts uh, even we can understand or we can uh, learn this uh, motors are normally working on high voltage in uh, toyota uh, vehicles like uh, if we can say uh, other uh, technology which are same to ev drive the vehicle operates solely on electric power typically at low speed or when starting from stop hybrid system the electric motor and internal combustion engine work together to provide optimal power and efficiency engine drive the internal combustion engine provides direct power to the vehicle primarily at higher speed for efficient highway cruising regenerative braking regenerative braking system capture connect kinetic energy during braking and deacceleration converting it into electrical energy to recharge the battery pack this process helps extend the range of electric only driving improve the overall fuel efficiency ecvt electric continuously variable transmission which has been used in the uh, hybrid honda hybrid civic and a this optimizes the power delivery by seamlessly adjusting to the most efficient gear ratio. It works in the conjunction with the electric motor and internal combustion engine to provide smooth and efficient power delivery. Performance and efficiency. Combined power output, combined output of the internal combustion engine and electric motor provides the sufficient power for the responsive and engaging driving experience fuel efficiency the hybrid system significantly improve fuel efficiency compared to the conventional internal combustion engine vehicle often achieving miles per gallon rating in the high 40 or low 50 emission the hybrid system reduce overall emission contributing to the lower environmental impact driving experience smooth acceleration the electric motor provides instant torque resulting in smooth rapid acceleration from stand hill quiet operation at low speed and during ev mode the vehicle operate almost silently enhancing overall driving experience advanced technology uh, the honda civic is equipped with the various advanced technology including digital instrument cluster informa informant system driving assistant features now we are talking about normally the motors which is mg1 and mg2 mg1 uh, primary function starting the internal combustion engine ice as uh, act as a motor for ICE when the hybrid system decide to start engine MG1 spins its up necessary speed for ignition generating generating electricity for MG1 also function as a generator converting mechanical energy from ICE into electrical energy this energy used to charge the high voltage battery pack or power MG2 managing hybrid system transition mg1 play are key role in managing transition between the various driving modes ev drive hybrid drive and engine drive by balancing power and optimizing efficiency mg2 propelling the vehicle mg2 is most playing part for drive the car mg2 is the main traction motor responsible for driving the vehicle it can propel the vehicle on its own in ev drive mode or assist ice internal combustion engine in hybrid drive mode regenerative braking driving during the 
braking or deacceleration mg2 act as generator converting kinetic energy from the vehicle motion into electric energy which then stored in a high voltage battery pack boosting acceleration mg mg2 provides additional power during acceleration working in tandem with ICE deliver a smooth responsive driving experience normally if I'm talking about the power output for MG1 and MG2 so we can talk MG1 and MG2 are designed to deliver the high torque at low rpm which is the beneficial for both starting the engine from MG1 and providing the propulsion from MG2 cooling system both motors are typically liquid cooled to maintain optimal operating temperature and enhance consistent performance efficiency the electric motor are engineered for the high efficiency with the minimal energy losses during the conversion process this contribute to the overall efficiency of the hybrid system integration with the hybrid system power split device the honda civic hybrid use a power split device that allow to the seamless contribution of the power between ICE MG1 MG2 this device manage the flow of power based on driving condition and system requirements for cooling cooling system liquid cool system to maintain optimal operating temperature now we are going toward MG2 which is motor generator 2 the function for the wholly pre, uh, primary responsible for the vehicle propulsion and regenerative braking and the power output which is more than the MG1 that is uh, 80 to 100 kilowatt exactly which is uh, I am talking about uh, Honda hybrid it is uh, depend upon the model to model if uh, there is a more higher model maybe the, the values are maybe little bit different if I am talking about the torque it is around uh, 200 to 300 Newton meter just just remember the previous one which I am talking about the torque was uh, 50 to 60 Newton meter in mg1 now if I am talking about mg2 that is uh, 200 to 300 Newton meter let us really far and which is uh, very strong and rapid action for the acceleration sudden acceleration we can say and the voltage are for mg1 and mg2 are almost same and are totally uh, which uh, which is uh, 200 to 300 voltage uh, the operational voltage for the motor is 200 to 300 voltage and the same for the cooling system for mg2 it is liquid cooled system enhance consistent performance internal mechanism if we are talking about the stutter the stutter both mg1 and mg2 has the stationary part cold and uh, which contain electrical windings which is uh, if you can see it is the surrounded part of the motor and it has multiple wirings here uh, which we are using three phase motor so you can see there are the three types or you can say three type of coil has been used uh, when the electrical current passes through this winding it creates a magnetic field which is uh, uh, almost similar to the other motors also if we are talking about the rotor the rotor is rotating component that interact with the stator magnetic field normally in uh, Honda hybrid the rotor is the permanent magnet which is uh, used in MG1 and MG2 and it is connected to the drive uh, drive train for mg2 and to the engine crankshaft for mg1 this is the main output device which rotates and give the power and uh, as i say before that the permanent magnet has been used uh, for the rotor consists consistent magnetic field which interact with electromagnetic field generated by stutter windings operating principle induction the operation of the both mg1 and mg2 is based on the principle electromagnetic 
when stator windings are energized they generate the rotating rotating magnetic field and this magnetic field induced a current in the rotor causing it to spin and generate torque now the whole and soul things come to the the brain which is the control electronics the operation of mg1 and mg2 precisely controlled by the vehicle power control unit normally we can say pcu and the, this word the pcu use in normally ev vehicles which is completely ev and uh, engine is not used in that vehicles so the pcu regulates the current flow to the stator windings control controlling the speed of speed and the torque of the motor normally the pcu is directly connected to uh, the stator which is the only connecting part uh, from motor to uh, the control unit uh, regenerative braking during the regenerative braking mg2 operates as a generator the kinetic energy of the vehicle is used to turn the rotor generating electricity which is feedback into the high voltage battery split power split device the hybrid system uses power split devices planetary gear set to manage the distribution of the power between ICE MG1 and MG2 this device allow the system to operate in different models EV drive hybrid drive engine drive by varying the contribution of each power source if we are talking about the performance enhancement uh, the high performance both motors are designed for the high efficiency minimizing energy losses during the conversion and transfer instinct power or torque mg2 provides instinct torque enhancing the vehicle acceleration and responsive seamless integration the hybrid system ensures seamless integration of the power source providing a smooth driving experience without noticeable transmission transition between ice and electric power even even, even we cannot understand uh, if the engine is uh, the car is working on by engine or by motor this is the combination uh, that is the integration system which controls the whole system that's all about uh, which i have learned from civic honda hybrid and the combination of this electrical in, uh, specification internal mechanism allow the honda civic to achieve balance of uh, efficiency performance reliability uh, advanced hybrid technology showcases the honda engineering um, proc procos and the commitment to sustainable automotive solution thank you very much